everybody, Kevin from Kevin Page Art. Thank you for joining me for another video tutorial. Uh, this one is gonna be from uh, a drawing that I did of Carlos Sainz in his 2021 uh, Ferrari, or in his 2021 Ferrari gear. I love when the new seasons kick off because you get to see new helmet designs, new liveries, uh, new colors, uh, new people, new places. Uh, so like I'm looking forward to doing Vettel in the Aston Martin, former Force India, former Racing Point, whatever it's called. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to getting into it. But uh, recently I've had a lot of questions on my Facebook and Instagram and Twitter pages about what I use to create the imagery that I do. Um, a lot of times it's watercolors or oil paintings. This one in particular is a cartoon. So the hardware that I use is a 2019, I believe, uh, iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch. So I love having a big canvas to work on. Um, and I love this case that I got for it because it actually, one has like a kickstand on it that I could pop out um, the base of. And so it has a little magnetic catches at the bottom. Uh, it's a, a Zugu case, Z-U-G-U. Um, and I, I've been a fan of them. I've used them for the past couple cases that I've used. Uh, and I love that it has the pencil protector on the top. So when I travel or I move from the couch to the desk or whatever it is, uh, not only does the, the Apple Pencil of the current generation have the magnet on it, but this one actually provides a little bit of a protector for it. So I, that's the hardware that I use. Um, and then the software that I use is Procreate. Uh, whenever you guys see people use uh, Procreate online, you'll always see those kind of telltale uh, sliders here for your brushes and, and all that. Um, so I'm gonna walk you guys through how I created that particular drawing of Carlos Sainz in his 2021 Ferrari gear. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but I'm going to walk you through it. Procreate has a really cool feature where it records automatically every step that you take of uh, every brushstroke that goes down on the canvas. It records it and you can uh, export it as a 30 second file or as a uh, full length file. So I'm going to do the little bit slower one so I can show you guys the steps that I take as I go. So if you have any questions, hit me up, but um, take a look. So. I always start off with a blank white canvas. This one happens to be eight by 10, 300 DPI. Um, light sketch, very loose, very free. Try to figure out where everything's gonna go, which way the stripes are gonna go. Try to put some weight and some balance in his stance. Make sure that I get the type of helmet right. Make sure I get the visors right, all that type of stuff. Um, next step is to turn that opacity way down, add another layer and then start the outline, which is very simple but it's a very strong line that's usually at 100%. Uh, when I get done with this stage, I then turn that to a multiply um, variant of, uh, of layer so that the color beneath it gets multiplied out. Uh, this stage, you see I turned it to a light blue color just so I have some type of contrast because he's so uh, red, all of his uh, gear is red. This is, a, uh, again, another layer that's new that is all flat. So it's a calligraphy pen that I use, uh, set to be very big, just to color everything. And you can see that I went back and erased all the overages, but I want to make sure that every line is saturated all the way to the corner. Uh, the next layer that I put in is for the details. So you can see that I'm putting in the stripes of the tricolor on his uh, chest, um, the oranges on top of the yellows that were on the other layer, the stripe for his Puma shoes, things like that. So everything starts to get layered in. And again, it's just that, that blue background to kind of have things set back. Um, now I'm starting to lay in layers of uh, the type, which is so important when you're doing uh, 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 letters and logos and race cars and things like that. Uh, now it's a new layer that is shadows. I use a blue shadow, turn it to multiply, turn it way down, but you get the shadow from one side. Now that's another layer of a deeper blue set at the same price. And now this is a rim light coming from the left side of Carlos. So all that adds up, um, put in a new layer for the, the cherry background to have a little bit of a fade. And that gives you uh, Carlos signs in his 2021 Ferrari gear. So thanks for joining me guys.